When they told me this movie was called Beekeeper, I had no idea that this dude was truly a beekeeper. I mean, what's going on with this guy? This mother... What does bro think he candy, man? Yo, I ain't gonna lie, son. Don't say that five times. That right, that right. I ain't saying it. But bro was really a beekeeper. The whole movie starts, you just see a bunch of bees in the beginning credits. Then you just see this guy walk in with a mask on his face. I ain't know if he was about to crash out on me like a young boy or if he was really about to go in there with them bees. Then he pulled a whole slab of honey out. Oh, bro think he Winnie the Pooh. Now, I'm not gonna lie. My man Jason Statham is the one. All of y'all know that he has been in some gas movies, specifically transport. Now I know some of y'all are gonna want me to go through the transporter movies and I got y'all But there's also option B. So before we dig into the beekeeper and I tell y'all about this crazy crazy fade fest I give you two doors door A door B the stipulation to unlocking these doors is getting this video to at least 3,000 likes Now if you do I need to know what y'all want to see more door A Transporter or door B kill bill put the letter you choose down in the comments man Let's get straight into it. So my man Jason Statham aka the beekeeper aka the retired beekeeper Keeper has been getting taken care of by none other than yo is that claire huxtable oh nah ever since that bill cosby stuff happened claire been staying out of the limelight but she's still bad now my man statham is here right now a bunch of space in a barn on her big dumb ass land yo they said that she was a teacher what type of salary is you getting man i got friends right now that are teachers living paycheck to paycheck i ain't gonna lie went over my homie's crib the other day who's a teacher i saw them in there eating a hookup straight ramen noodles with the slim jims cut in bro down pat. So when I saw Claire hustle with all this land, I said, oh, nah, she gotta be trapping on the side. What you got a little coat? So her and Jason Statham get to talk and she's telling them how he brought her place back to life and how she's so grateful for him. You know, typical old black woman shit. Thank you, baby. Now, if you come over here tonight, I'm gonna toot that ass up for you. By toot that ass up, I mean dinner. And by dinner, I mean he's eating her ass. All right, my bad. Now she's sitting in the kitchen. I'm thinking everything normal. He working on his bees and all that. And she getting an alert on her computer. Real alert. Real I like whole time it's one of them fraud joints you know them phishing scams you get the jaunt that pop on your screen call this number now so you can make sure everything's okay with your computer then you have a conversation with some guy named Hazam Zabib that's somewhere in the middle of nowhere in the midwest aka the middle east aka where Osama bin Laden was from now you having a conversation with him he telling you how your computer got a bunch of viruses on it next thing you know everything gone your identity gone your money gone your dignity gone if you was a virgin <laughs> that's gone too all right my fault anyway she go through this whole conversation with him. It went something like this. Because you know I got to hit you with that hood translation. <clears throat> Yo, gang, gang, gang. Hey, what it is, cuz? Hey, man, I heard your computer fucked up, shorty. And I heard you Claire Hustle. I know that ass fat. Hey, toot that ass up. Oh, oh my God. Excuse me? Uh, um, <clears throat> my, 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 my bad, man. Uh, I heard that your computer is messed up. Uh, can I help you? Yeah, it says that I have a virus on it. Yeah, so uh, basically what happened is uh, we're, uh, we put a virus on your computer I'm gonna take all your money. Wait, what? Uh, I'm, I'm, my bad. I mean, uh, you have a virus on your computer, and we don't want your money to get hurt by any of those pesky guys. You know. Hey, hey, Tommy. Hey, hey, we about to take all this bitch money, cut. Hey, shut the. F Huh? Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I had TV on. I was uh, watching Baby Boy. But uh, anyways, yeah, all I need you to do is to hit a uh, little button there and install a program. Go to friendlyfriendly.net, okay? Uh, I don't know how to spell. I'm 80 and I have dementia. Um, F. 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 Type friendly, friendly. I'm oh, so sorry. Uh, okay, okay, I'm here. Okay, downloading it. Okay, now I need you to. Uh, you got five hundred dollars, right? F five hundred dollars. I don't have that just laying around. Oh man. Uh, okay, so basically what I'm gonna have to do is uh, I refund it to you. Okay. Oh no, I accidentally sent you fifty thousand dollars. Oh, uh, thanks. Your beat. What, what, hello? No, just, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. That's what she should have did though, y'all. I would have said fifty bands. I ain't gonna lie, I ran with that, John. You feel me? I would've hit road runner on that bitch. All right, my bad. So at this point, bro, they, you know, took a fishing scam. They sent her some money that isn't really real. She goes to send it back, but now he's remotely on her computer. So he has all of her passwords and they drain everything. I mean, they literally take every dollar out of her account. She had 2 million in this charity she's running. Unfortunately, which to me doesn't make any sense, she was very distraught about this charity. And because she was distraught about this charity, she killed herself, which is kind of crazy, but it's just just like, what, what do you do, right? I mean, she killed herself, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Jason Statham walk in the house. He has some honey for her. He coming back for dinner. He gonna eat her ass like, you know, she said earlier. So he walk in the crib. He knows something off. The fire alarm going off. He pick a knife up. He walk into the room. Boom. Her motherfucking daughter there. The strap on him. I mean, the splickety do on the back of his head. Stop. Right here. Put your hands up. Put them behind your back. B 
Want me to put a mopper behind my back? Uh, my bad, my bad. Get on your knees. Whoa, shorty. I ain't trying to get on my knees now. Like, you, you, you want some nice shit. Like, get on your knees. Oh, my God. Damn, shorty, if you wanted some, you know what I'm saying? You want some hair, you could have just said that. So, my man get on his knees, and he instantly tell her that he's sorry. He probably wondering why did he say he's sorry. Well, not because, you know, he didn't get to eat her ass. No, because her mom decided to hand a baker herself. She is dead. She shot herself. I don't understand. If you're going to take your life, yo, like, why don't you just sit in a room, you know, in a garage with your car running or I don't know take a bunch of sleeping pills or something it, it, it those off into it why would you shoot yourself I guess because it just you end fast but like what if you miss or what if you uh, I'm gonna tell y'all a story really quick bro uh, d d don't go anywhere this is an interesting story all right so my granddaddy had a friend right okay his friend wanted to hand a baker himself did it with a shotgun but this dumbass dude put it in his mouth so instead of putting the gun like towards his brain you know upwards he had it back some people when they put the gun in their mouth like they'll put it like not under their chin like if you put it under your chin or in your mouth towards the roof of your mouth like towards your brain it's gonna work you're gonna hit your brain you're dead right if you point backwards though you could miss your brain and that's what happened to my granddad's friend he blew his whole jaw off but he didn't die so like yo what if you miss bro and now you in agonizing pain bleeding out before you die like I, I don't know bro i'm not with that that's crazy but you know that's besides the point she smoked herself now obviously her daughter sees big buff white guy in there with a knife bro in there looking like steve wilkos obviously she thinks that he is the one that killed her you know her mom the whole time it ain't him fbi questioning him uh yeah excuse me sir uh what is your name adam clay what, what kind of nice name is that you, you sound like a rock gym leader pokemon I, man my mom gave me that name man, man shut your whole ass up oh all right uh anyways uh you said you noticed uh, a bunch of stuff about the house and the car uh, are you like former law enforcement and i'm a beekeeper i keep bees and shit like I, you know i protect the hive okay what, what does that even mean do, do any of y'all know what he's talking about no, i don't know what the f he's talking about I, I just know my mom's dead and i seen this big dude in here with a knife bro look like steve wilkos oh, oh that dude look like steve wilkos all right, all right but that's what's off the point man let's just take him down to the station so that's what they do they take bro down to the station the whole time his fingerprints are on the gun and the gun residue there's none bro there's no gun residue there's no fingerprints the fingerprints on the gun match boom her mom so her mom did confirm smoke herself and that sucks so at this point bro him and the fbi agent they meet up in the morning she apologizes to him but he says that he's gonna go protect the hive and dips off this is where the real story begins because whole time bro was a slab out of honey but this time it's a little phone connected to it bro hit a phone call apparently he a part of some secret organization you know and he is called a beekeeper he's retired so there's a new beekeeper hold that thought it's important we're not there yet so he get on the phone ring 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 pick up the phone nigga. ring 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 hey pick the phone up bitch hello beekeeper incorporated but, bro didn't i tell you stop calling it out when people call oh my god is that you adam i thought you were retired bro i am retired but i need a favor oh uh, favor mm, i need a favor yo why you why you sound like that <laughs> you're gonna find out oh no nah. look i like you and i want you now we can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way the choice is yours yo yo you've been watching too much boondocks like listen man i need the, 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 the name and address on these dudes right here i'm gonna send you the coordinates so boom he sent him the coordinates on dudes that done took all the bread from shorty he found out about it through her daughter daughter broke it down to him let him know what happened etc etc now he's mad he had a hard ass you know little monologue in the kitchen about it he's like it's fucked up when you hurt elderly people or children sometimes it's worse with elderly people see children they have parents they have older siblings they have people around them that can come and help them see sometimes elders they're all alone and they got to deal with the hornets by themselves i said mm I ain't gonna lie, I gave him the nasty face. You know that one me, the white guy, he's giving the nasty face like somebody spit some crazy bars? That's exactly how I was looking. Anyways, he ends up going to the little call center. He driving his nasty ass, old ass pickup truck. I ain't gonna lie, that shit looking like Mater from Cars. Yo, he pull up, he got two gasoline cans. Fake ass Secret Service walk up, they talking about, yo, 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 need you back the fuck up, cat. Yeah, you heard him, back up, cuz. All right, I ain't gonna lie, bro, you sound like a bitch. Mike Tyson, why you got a list like that? I ain't gonna hold you. But anyways, I'm gonna walk in this building and I'm gonna set everything thing on fire i'm just letting you know whoa 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 no you're not Kai. you back the fuck up thief welco man you heard what he said man we ain't playing with you and mid sentence bro's not playing he bang, bang, straight two piece bro take his gun smack the other nigga with it bro he unloaded the gun and everything bro not both of them out with the quickness walk straight in with the can of gas with the reception hey i'm looking for the call center oh yeah just sign this paper or we're on the third floor i got you uh evacuate every other business out of this building i'm about to burn everything to the ground 
I have explosives on me and I'm going to use them shits. Also, hey, write down your Instagram, hit you up later because you kind of bad. I ain't gonna lie. Like, hey, you definitely leave because I'm trying to hit that later. What? So, bro, go straight up there, bro. I'm not gonna lie. He walk in. He says, excuse me. Everybody repeat after me. I will no longer steal from old and vulnerable people. They all the laughing at him. He like, oh, these this thing shit sweet. So he walk up to the first dude he see. He just starts smoking this thing. I mean, bang, bang, bang. Mickey, 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 Mickey. Bro, he's hitting the out of this dude. So after they all see he's not playing with him, he asked them to repeat it again. And all do. I mean, the whole room is pussy. I'm not gonna lie. But at this point, fake ass bro, the one that scammed shorty in the first place, walk up. Hey, <laughs> dude, what the f are you doing in here, dude? Dude, I'm gonna ask you one time, dude. Take your shit and get the f stepping okay because i've had a long day okay bro i'm not gonna lie the only thing long is you being long with it if you don't shut your white ass up man listen i ain't gonna lie to you i'm burning this shit to the ground all right either you can leave or you can stay and burn up i'm not gonna lie i'm about to do y'all like freddy krueger i swear to god so he sent the secret service after him bro little fake ass all right it's not really a secret service i did just look like thick ass run the security guards i ain't gonna lie they run up he bang, bang, straight smoking this one it walked up, yo. He hit him with a keyboard. I ain't gonna lie. Bang. Then he smacked bro with a phone. Like, yo, what's going too fucking stupid, bro? Me personally, I'm not going for none of that. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna walk up on me. You're not gonna do me dirty. You definitely, and I mean definitely, not about to hit me with no keyboard. All right, you probably would hit me with a keyboard if you was just in state. Them, no, I ain't gonna lie. He's different, bro. Keep it in. But that's what's off the point. Anyways, after beating up the whole room with these fake ass running cops, I ain't gonna lie. He set everything ablaze. I mean, turned them all to a crisp. Four people. People didn't even get out. Blew up the whole joint. The problem is he called his boss up bitching about it. Oh, oh my God, boss. Bro, there's a big mean guy, Jason Statham. He's big and mean and, and, and he blew up everything. And I know you're mad about it, but he's just a meanie. What? Dude, what the f*** are you talking about, though, dude? Wait, wait a minute. I thought I had that accent. <sighs> dude, you know since only got four accents, bro. You just go with it, dude. Okay, but he's being a big meanie. He's got a bald head. He looks like Krillin, but he doesn't have a gi on, and he's tall. Whoa, 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 dude. Krillin had Android 18. Please respect him. That's true. That nigga do get hoes. All right, but, but that's besides the point. He blew this shit up, bro. Are you going to do something about it? So the big boss that's over him, he goes and runs to his dad. See, his mom is the president of the United States. Crazy, I know. His dad was the head of director of the entirety of the cia i know crazy how the f did this kid end up here or whatever anyways he's a big ass spoiled brat but the only reason that his mom be letting him get off with this shit is because his mom would have never won the election without his money see he stole a bunch of money using cia technology to basically fund his mother's campaign which led to her winning so she just be letting him do whatever because i made you but that, that's besides the point his dad don't want any parts in that shit bro and i don't blame him i wouldn't want any parts in it either you telling me that some crazed lunatic and started running around smoking everybody and you want me to take care of it because i'm your dad and i get that but nigga, nobody asked you to make this dude mad and i feel like that one meme in the boondocks because after he killed seven people within a manner of a day i would be thinking to myself what did that do to make him so mad and at this point they don't realize why he's taking this so personal but they will very shortly but anyways his dad's not going for that shit bro he don't want no parts in it. i understand so anyways bro take it into his own hand he gets a group of people to go find him so bro pull up he finds him eventually and he's got the cleanup crew with him and i mean just a bunch of random people ran by this one asian guy they all in track suits what the f did he get these guys from bro like anyways i'm not gonna lie he got these off back page or craigslist or something but they go to find him they shoot his bees up which is just gonna make him mad why would you make the guy that killed seven people in two days more angry like come on bro would you poke the incredible hawk with a stick I, 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 anyways bro they showed up and i'm not gonna lie he beat everybody the fuck up bro i mean everybody first dude bro i'm not gonna lie he ran up he gets grabbed up and choked out with a chain bro bro took a chain and choked this nigga to death second dude run up get choked out with his own gun he took shoddy and was choking him with it bro was in there gagging boy he ain't know what to do damn so you just gonna choke me with his <laughs> gun bitch yeah, that sounded like daffy duck right there i ain't gonna lie next dude gets run up i'm not gonna lie bro he got stabbed up in the neck huh kick he ended up hanging the dude with the chain bro he lynched him i mean it is what it is i'm not gonna lie to you i can't believe he just willy lynched like god damn imagine you this whole ass right here with a gun thinking that everything 
ain't sweet. I mean, you so scared, you just started blowing a pistol in random spots. I mean, fa, 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 fa. Somebody help me. I pissed myself. Next thing you know, you see a dude hanging, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'd probably shit myself at that point. So, bro, I ain't gonna lie. He tried to dip off. Not this time, though. Jason Statham grab. He cuts his fingers off, bro. Puts his fingers through a saw. Bro had every finger missing, bro. Oh, my God. Once again, would have never let that happen to me. It is what it is, though. Anyway, he let him live on purpose, though, because he knew he was going to eventually call his boss. Now, the FBI done showed up and seen that this whole barn is, you know, burnt down. They starting to connect the dots. Okay, Adam Clay, you feel me? He was at both scenes. Like, what's going on here? Like, uh, uh what's this dude is not what he seems to be. So they start to look into him, hold that thought. So anyways, lame ass white dude calls his boss up and crying again. But this time, my man Adam Clay is there. He's the phone. Come here. Give me that shit. Bitch. He ties this dude up to the back of this truck and hits the dad. Literally pull bro into the water with the truck. Now bro is in there drowning, bro. Whole truck falling. Bro drowning. God. <laughs> Anyways, he get on the phone with him. He get to talking. Hey, you know you done fucked up, right? Dude, you're the one that... Do you know who you are, dude? I'm tapped in with the president and the CIA, dude. Like, I can have your whole family killed, dude. I don't have a family. I murdered him. What? Wait, what? Yeah, they were messing up the hive, so I so I killed him. But excuse me? Man, you heard what I said, but I ain't gonna repeat myself. Nah, if I was you, I would shut your whole ass up. What? Uh, uh, dude, dude, no, no, f that. You're not gonna talk to me like that, dude. I'm fucking shaggy, bro. From Scooby Doo, dude. Bro, shaggy don't sound like. All right, anyway, that is besides the point, bro. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna kill you, bro. Yeah, and you sound young, so I know you don't even got a state plan. Why would I need that? I'm about to show you. Uh, oh, no. So at this point, bro, get off the phone. I ain't gonna lie. So he run to his dad, tell him everything that's going on. He's like, yo, I'm not gonna hold you. If he's really a beekeeper, like you saying, you're dead. Like once a beekeeper says you're dead, you're dead. Like there's nothing you can do about it. He like, come on, Kai. So the wife calls him and begs and pleads with him, you know, to save their son, bro. And he's like, all right, cool. I got you, but I'm doing it for you, not for him. I hate this. Nigga. Understandable. He's a douchebag. So we calls in a favor and they end up putting current beekeeper on this beekeeper. Big mistake. I'm not gonna lie. He's body and shorty though. Like real rat. First off, he's sitting in his truck minding his business. Shorty come up, ram her truck into his shit. I'm like, oh no. How you gonna do my man like that? So bro, hop out. Not gonna lie. As soon as he hop out, she get the... <laughs> But bro not even in the car at this point. He done dipped off already. He get the bang, 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 bang. I mean, straight putting hands on shorty. I'm not going to lie. Doing her greasy. So she like, nah, f*** that. She go to the back of the truck. She pulled a little drone off the back. Whole time, she got a minigun in that back, bro. She looking like Gunzerker from Borderlands 2 or some shit. She pulled a big minigun out. She <laughs> nothing, bro. That joint shooting pink shit. I ain't going to lie. What the f*** is that? Bro, that shit had Lil Uzi last album in it. All right, that was corny. All right, my fault. Corny counter. All right, my fault. But anyways, bro, I'm not going to hold you. He Get the mixing her up. Got so bad, Joe. He put gasoline on her and set the bitch on fire, bro. Then he cut her finger off so we could use it later to get into our little secret base and shit. Did her fucking dirty. I felt him though, bro. I probably would have set bitch on fire too. That's just me. Anyways, this point after he kills the current beekeeper, yo, he's on his way to Boston to take down the whole organization. You know, I get it. I would do the same thing. He wants to get to the top and find out where this bitch ass is at. You know, I feel him. Anyways, none of that really matters, bro. So our little friend, you feel me, to see. CIA direct puts his team together with a bunch of team sealed six. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just got tongue twisted like a mouth. That's besides the point. Anyways, the FBI is involved now. They done got the chief director involved. He done got briefed on the beekeeper, but his mouth face like he seen a ghost when they said beekeeper in that meeting. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, so I think he's a beekeeper. Oh, God damn, a bee. My bad. My heart skipped the beat. You said a beekeeper in my mouth. Man, fuck all that. Uh, let's just let's just understand. Let's let's, let's talk about something else. So they send the FBI SWAT team there they show up too now they try and get it shut down the little still seal team six 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 my uh, uh uh team six i ain't gonna lie bro whatever the f man that the team six from naruto man the, the, the seals <laughs> yo I, why can't i say seal team six bro anyways they send the fbi out now the fbi out there beekeepers show up bro my man adam show straight up on these niggas he like look bro i'm not trying to hurt no innocence but i'm about to hurt all of y'all break dude hand off rip get the box in the fbi outside i mean boom boom bro he took a gun and he started shooting them in a body armor bro just to knock them down when they ass took one of the hostages bro he out there Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. He got one of the hostages. He go in. Now he going upstairs. He get to talking crazy to him. Seal Team Six is there. He like, hey, so you gonna hold a hostage, bitch ass nigga? Damn right, bro. I'm not gonna let you shoot me, pussy. All right, I mean that's fair. I, I probably would have grabbed the hostage too. Man, man this is good. Make my 
Convince me I'm wrong. All right, so now he on their ass, bro. He done ran out of the room and shit. They follow him in the hallway. When I tell you, yo, he punished everybody in the hallway. I mean, did him greasy. Till there was nobody left but the last nigga. He get the boxing him. I'm not gonna lie. This dude is the one person that put in like a decent amount of pain. You feel me? Amongst everybody he's fought one on one so far, bro. He punished everybody else. But this dude, he got a couple licks in. But just like the rest, bro, he punishes him. This time the FBI go in. You feel me? He got him in the elevator. They get to the shooting at the elevator. He's standing over top of it. Man, all of that shit missing. He he looking at that shit like, yeah, all right. Ain't letting y'all whole ass hit me with that shit. Then he blow up the cord, bro. That an elevator falls. A lot of them fall to their death, but one dude gets slapped sliced in half like a fatality like it was on mortal Kombat. god damn so we go back to the room he interrogating the middle manager he's like who's on charge no they'll kill me he's like i'll torture you then kill you so he breaks down his love for the old shorty tells him about how she's the one that was really there for him taking care of him, helping him the only one you could tell that that did something to bro so he give it up he's like all right i'll show you them so he ends up showing the niggas you feel me now whole time kid over here the dude that he's trying to get to plans on using his mom as a human shield because she's the president they think that this nigga adam is going to go kill the president hold on to that so they brief the director and the director basically gives them a blank check bro if you think the president is a target you can use as much money as you want to now they got the whole wide world on this nigga. new mercenaries and everything so he ends up going to this little party where she's at she got this little beach house or whatever he beats the fbi agent up takes his clothes he just starts putting bombs on the band now he walking through you feel me while the president is telling her son about everything that's going on they follow him bro around they even found this one dude that also looked like steve wilkos but you know it's not so you know there's that but it wasn't him so they move on now bro running through the jump they finally find him the mercenaries his gun to the back of his head he like talking crazy to him they end up going through this whole conversation while all of this is happening shorty in there talking to her son she yelling at him about it he admits about stealing the money the shit i told y'all earlier none of that's really important what is important is later he's gonna grab his mom and literally tries to use her as a human shield which is crazy but it is what it is anyways bro outside this motherfucking mercenary got the gun to him he hit the van bomb Oof. grab the gun shoot this nigga in the mouth kill everybody else around dips off now he's running through the whole house smoking niggas as he's going up the stairs bro it's like he's playing donkey kong versus mario the drone where he was throwing the barrels but instead of dodging barrels the fbi niggas are barrels and he's splitting them shits in half <laughs> bro is murdering everybody on these steps so he gets to the top finally fighting the last mercenary the only dude that put in pain on his nigga. i'm not gonna lie this fight is crazy bro showed up with brass knuckles he, he's like all right that's gonna rock me he rock him back Fuck. Now they going at it. They have a struggle. Bro pull a knife out. He cut his arm a little bit, but he kind of like fall and twist him down a little bit so he can get like a better angle on him. Now we got the knife. He pointed it towards him. Bro got it. Bro basically got him to have both arms on a knife, but he got one arm on a knife so he could grab the brass knuckles. Now he got the brass knuckles in his hand. He fa, 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 stab him in a juggler, bro. All of this happened after bro was fighting him and said, you're just a man. I was like, damn right, I'm just a man, bro, but I'm a man that's about to smoke your dumb ass. So after he, you know, he killed killed everybody he goes into the room bro before he could get in there the cia gosh you know the dad shows up gets his hand broken get the fuck out of my way he popping that bitch bro grab his mom is his hostage like i said this nigga is out of pocket but it doesn't even matter bro he shot this nigga in the head talking about telling old black shorty daughter you choose who you work for the law or for justice i said god dang then bro dirty that's exactly what he you know what i'm saying he deserved though you feel me i would have did that nigga dirty too for real and just like that my man jason statham swam off to the sunset ah the end